a lot of noise have been made lately about this website that Trump administration released that announces in big bold letters lab leak and I can tell you <laughs> that the information that is presented in uh, the report that they include I've studied that that's not new this is a congressional report it was a special select subcommittee of US House of Representatives to analyze how the pandemic was being uh, how the American government or basically uh, American health authorities responded to the pandemic and they trashed everyone and everything in that report it's a very long report 550 pages long and I started making video series on that report I've studied it in detail the reason why I personally liked it is because the government assessed its own performance and trashed itself. And I think governments rarely do this. Maybe this is politically motivated. Hence, we see it, this report being advertised by the Trump administration. But I really don't know anything about that. I was much more interested in the science. They did a very good job in referencing science in that report. And really, they reported on how the vast majority of our responses to the pandemic turned out to be basically garbage or nonsensical when it came to um, science. So the science was not supported, uh, not supporting a lot of our past decisions during the pandemic. And I think that's important that the governments start giving themselves a report card on how they did in, in, during the pandemic because we have to figure out how to do better in the future. Not necessarily to pandemic, hopefully we won't be seeing another one in our lifetime, but to any crisis so that from that angle i thought that was uh, really interesting now this series that i'm making right now it's available on patreon my private patreon account so check it out i think i'll make it into a series so you can actually get the entire series for a small price now my patreon members the way my patreon account works is that my patreon members get to decide what content stays on patreon versus goes on youtube that's the privilege of being my patron and my patron members decided that this content stays on patron so that's why it hasn't made it into youtube if you think this should make it onto youtube leave me a comment below please then let me know maybe we'll make it available on youtube if there is truly indeed an interest it's a very very good report i personally liked it but again from a science as inspection of the scientific information now let's talk about the lab leak itself because that's the prominent feature of this new website from the Trump administration. Hey, lab leak, it's insinuating that the pandemic was indeed started by the lab leak. But I can tell you that that report does not offer any such information in terms of proof. They discuss the concept that lab leak um, is still a viable option to consider. There is no proof for it yet that I'm aware of. The report does not provide any proof. So. I've, I saw um, articles where people mentioned that, that this, this um, report or this website provided by the Trump administration discusses how this was a, a laboratory construct and result, resulting in lab incident. I don't, didn't, never saw that information myself in terms of being able to prove that itself. However, they also, that report disparaged the concept of the pandemic being started by the Huanan Seafood Market. So remember when the pandemic started in 2000, December 2019? At the very beginning, it was assumed that it started with, from the specific seafood market. And I decided to investigate all available or <laughs> scientific information that I could find that investigated the forensic it was a forensic investigation of genetic information that was published in, sci in scientific literature in terms of analyzing how that market might have pre played a role in the start of the pandemic. I am currently releasing that content on my Patreon account as well, but it will be available on YouTube. Stay tuned for that. It's very interesting. I can tell you that there's still information that I will make available in that series that will surprise you. I bet you there's still things that when I will tell you, you'd be like, oh, wow, I had no clue that that is how the pandemic started. And uh, from what is uh, publicly available via 
scientific resources, again, there is no way of being able to prove whether there was a lab leak or whether the pandemic was started via natural origins, which is by, by a jumping from an animal species to humans. But even though the report that I mentioned denigrated the role of the market, I actually thought based on the scientific information, I think the market actually did play some important role. We don't really know what that is. It, it could have started the pandemic, uh, but uh, because of what the scientific information suggests on the uh, history of SARS-CoV-2 virus, I personally don't think so. I was not persuaded by that scientific information and I argue about that in my series. I think the the seafood market was either an amplifying factor or potentially birth of a new lineage of virus which made the pandemic then prominent and visible to to us so check that out the the one more thing that I, that I'll mention though is that when it comes to lab leak the best information that I've seen was in a book that I read the author of the book contacted me we've exchanged some information in the past and he let me know, hey, I had this book and I decided to read it. And indeed, I thought his theory is the best one yet when it comes to accumulating supporting evidence. It doesn't prove lab leak at all, but I will make a video about this topic. It'll be the first time I'll make a video on, on based on a book itself. And I'll show you how this author put the evidence together to suggest to suggest his theory how this was a lab leak but what's really interesting is that the they claim the author claimed that this wasn't the virus wasn't made in china it was made in us so really really interesting uh theory and i'll show you how how this author puts that evidence together and then you can judge that yourself but that video is still yet to be made so the series when it comes to the report, that congressional report that is being marketed by the Trump's lab leak page, that's in the process of being made. I've already made series of these videos. I'll make quite a few more because it's like I said, it's a very, very large report. And, and again, it trashes everything under the sun, which I think is good because some of this we do have to analyze and, and admit to ourselves where did we go wrong and what did we do right that's just what we should be doing in general and the forensic analysis of genetic information how the pandemic started check out that series as well that will be available in on youtube soon in the meantime you can check it out on patreon and then finally i will talk about that book all right so then speaking of my patreon as i mentioned please check it out because if you are a supporting member then all my videos are pre-screened on Patreon first and my patrons then decide what goes on to YouTube. You, uh, and some of this information stays there. Some of it does, that does not obviously get, goes on to YouTube. Some of the videos that do stay on Patreon are paid subscription only. Some of them are free if it's self-help. And um, there I, there's extra perks as well. And a lot of, more and more of my patrons also dictate as to what kind of information I should be studying. So this is uh, another perk of being a, a patron. And in the meantime, please give me a like. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel as well. This is how we grow. And uh, leave a comment. And I'll see you guys in another installment. Bye, everyone.